Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at AR viewing in 3D Wear. So we've done a handful of videos on 3D Warehouse over the years uh, showing how to use it, um, some new features, and this is a new feature that I'm super excited about. It's the ability to view items from 3D Warehouse in real space, in AR. Uh, so we're going to look at a couple things here, a little different from Radio Skill Builder. We're going to do some screen stuff, you know, normal, like you can already see, I'm, I'm previewing back here what we would see if we were in 3D Warehouse on a computer, but we're also going to jump to mobile device view. So that's going to be just my regular phone. Uh, we're going to talk about using different uh, devices to view in AR, but what you're going to actually see is nothing special, just my regular everyday phone. Let's hop in and take a look. All right, so we're starting here. We are starting in the 3D warehouse, and this is just regular browser view. Uh, we're not gonna go through all this stuff. We've, we've done some other videos, but the new thing, the thing we wanna look at is right here, view in AR. So I still have the ability to view the 3D model here, download it into my SketchUp model or to my desktop or whatever I wanna do, but this new button is view in AR. So now again, I'm looking at this right now on my regular desktop computer or laptop. If I click view in AR, I don't have, you know, a camera or I'm not going to actually view AR right here. So when I click view in AR when I'm on my computer, it gives me this QR code. This QR code can be pulled up on or scanned on a mobile device and it will take you immediately into the VR viewer for this product. Alternatively, here I have the same exact product open in 3D Warehouse on my phone and see there's that same button, view in AR. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click it on the phone. This, this is the same thing that would happen if I scan the QR code. It will bring up this viewer. So you can see immediately what it did is it started scanning the studio, the place that I'm recording in, and it dropped my product right there on the ground. This is awesome. This is coming in automatically, full scale, one-to-one -one scale, and it's using my camera on my phone to figure out where the space is and drop it where it thinks I want it to go. Now, that might not be exactly where I need it, but what I can do is I can actually just put my finger on here and drag that piece around and drop it somewhere else. Once it's on the ground there, I can spin around, I can take a look at it in 3D space. What do I think of that? Is it good? Now, let's put it back over here in the corner. I like, whoops, um, dragged a little bit too close to myself. There we go, walk around it. This is awesome. This means I can take my models, I can take my products, and I can put them right in the real space using just the hardware I already have, just my phone. That's all I'm looking at this with. I do have the ability here too, if I tap the screen, I get some controls up here, I could flip to object view, and this is where I could just spin this around click and drag to just look at this item in 3D space, and then I can always hop back over to AR anytime I want. And that's all there is to it. I know uh, a lot of times in these videos we try to get a little bit deeper and like click, click, click and, and, and talk about how to uh, you know dive deep into doing this, but it's kind of one of the cool things. I know I'm sounding salesy here, I'm sorry guys, but it really is one of the cool things is it's that simple. Once you get in there, you just drop the product in real space, and look at it, take a picture, uh, record your screen, whatever you need to do, and you can actually explore that piece right there in real space. Uh, check it out, go to 3D Warehouse and pull up a product, click on it in your screen, you'll get that QR code that you can scan or pull it up on your mobile device directly and jump right into AR. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos around here each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Have you tried this? Do you use 3D Warehouse regularly? What do you think of AR? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.